in NAMM 2012, haven't moved very far, we're still here in the Line 6 booth, wanted to show you guys uh, some of the uh, mobile offerings here from Line 6. Uh, they just announced last week at CES the mobile keys, and they have had the mobile in, uh, that's been around for a little bit, hasn't November. it? Yeah. November. So anyway, we're uh, here with Chris, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, Chris, why don't you tell us what you got going here? Okay, well last week at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, we introduced Mobile Keys 49 and Mobile Keys 25. These are the world's first full-size keyboards which are powered by bus power only and work with both iOS devices, meaning iPads, iPhones, and iPod Touches, and Mac and PC. Uh, when they connect to an iOS device, we use this plug here. As you can see, this is just going into the, to the dock connector on this iPad. When we plug into a Mac or a PC, we use this connector here, just a standard USB-B jack. Now, these keys uh, are full-size keys, unlike many iOS keyboards, which tend to be mini keys. Uh, they have attack velocity, release velocity, two full-size wheels for pitch and mod. There's two knobs, uh, which default to volume and pan, and two foot controller jacks, which default to sustain and expression. But all four of those can be assigned to any MIDI uh, controller number that you'd like. Uh, these keyboards have uh, noticeably better build quality than many of the current inexpensive USB MIDI keyboards. Uh, so I think they compare pretty favorably to those, both by the quality and by the fact that they'll also work with iOS devices. The 25 key version, Mobile Keys 25, is $149.99, and the uh, Mobile Keys 49, the bigger version, is $199.99. They both ship in February, and we're pretty pleased with how they came out, and we're getting a really good reaction to them. People seem to like the quality, and they like the flexibility of them. And they also like the design. We, we tried to keep them uh, sort of trim and stylish. The, the overall size of them is not a lot bigger than the key bed itself. You can see it's, it's really pretty, pretty, pretty focused. The Mobile Keys 25 is a size that, that you can pretty much imagine putting into a backpack. So we, we think these would be good for music education uh, as more and more schools go to the idea of using iPads uh, instead of uh, laptops for the, the technology package. Uh, so we you think, carry think almost a your whole rig in, exactly. in a little backpack. Exactly. I mean, on the Mobile Keys 25 here, you can you can see uh, you just have the iPad and the keyboard and the one cable. You can see it just it's a natural for going on a plane, for going out in the wilderness, or wherever it is that you feel inspired to make music, record your musical ideas into GarageBand for iPad or iPhone, and then take a session back to GarageBand on the Mac, take a session back to Logic on the Mac, and make it a part of your real music making life instead of using the iOS platform as sort of a, a toy off on the side or a little island. We want to have a more sense of uh, continuity with your real music making life and we think that these products help, help you get there. Then for guitarists, uh, the other product that we're showing today, uh, it, this has been shipping since November, is the Line 6 Mobile In. And what this is, is the best quality digital guitar interface uh, for iOS. Uh, combined with a free app that works with the, the interface, which is called MobilePod. Uh, the interface uh, basically includes the guitar input electrical circuit that's used in Line 6 pod processors, uh, which is known for its quality and for its very high signal to noise ratio. Uh, we publish our signal to noise ratio, which I think you'll find none of the other guitar input uh, vendors do for iOS. Um, the app itself is a software implementation in an iOS app of RealPod 2.0 modeling. It has all 32 amps, amp heads, all 16 cabinets, and all 16 effects that a Pod 2.0 has. In fact, it's also tone compatible uh, with Pod 2.0 and uh, Pocket Pod. So if you have tones you've built on those devices, the app will load them. Uh, and as proof of that, we ship with the app over 11,000 tones that users have, uh, have, have created and submitted to our custom tone online repository. So it's got more tones than you could ever use. Very flexible. Uh, a lot of people really love the sound and the tone of Pod 2.0 modeling, and this is the real stuff how available. Big, how big is the app? Uh, you know? it, it's pretty big, you know, it's, okay. it's many megabytes. You still can do it with an 8-gig phone, though, I would assume? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Now, the, I'm, I'm assuming because the uh, software is free, my guess would be that this only works with the mobile end, correct? That is true. Okay. We've received some feedback that we should consider making the app work with other interfaces, and we're considering that. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you, Chris. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. Take care. Now, 2012.